welcome back. The first of these races is TKM Extreme Heights. Sebastian Mins watching on the live chat, one of the leading contenders right. last year's British Championship in the Minimax class. Here's a look at some of our TKM Extreme contenders. A big wave from Ashton Cox there at the class of motorsport team. Well, they're going to be absolutely bouncing. I am abs I am sure of that. Uh, there is Chris Whitten going through. There's the number 14 of Jessica Fitch Hall. And right at the back, Charlie King. So, Charlie King, he had the yoke was stretched on the left front of his cart. He pitted, and that's why he thought he had a puncture, but it wasn't. Ah. There was a yoke had stretched. So, uh, into the, there's Adam Sparrow. So, Charlie King and Adam Sparrow, two potentials. Newcomer of the championship, Andrew Platt. And there's Michael Cornell. Uh, as we further up there is from Hong Kong, that is Alvin Chi, uh, Aaron Lask from Precision Racing. There's Kian Bennett for the Rob Saw Racing Team, uh, Kai Springfield, Private on a Jade. Uh, there's Spencer Lane, uh, Sam Johns in number two, and your pole sitter, Lee Whittingham. Let's listen to what Dan's saying. And again, that's just an idea. The, 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 the officials are communicating with the drivers all the time. Yeah. You know, they, they are. They're, they're, the officials, they're not there to make the drivers' lives hard. They're there to ensure fair racing. They, again, the drivers can disagree with the officials. They can do whatever they want. But what the officials at the British Championship are trying to do, they are trying to communicate all the time. We'll stop communicating right now because the next race is coming up right now. Yes, indeed. It is TKM Extreme Race 25, and it is the final time. What can happen in this one? Lee Whittingham and Harvey Roth, they start on the front row. Sam Johns and Oliver Bowen, they go from row two. Spencer Lane and Luke Jarman, they round out your top six on row number three. Kai Springfield and Liv Jenkins are on row number four with Kian Bennett and Ashton Cox rounding out your top ten ahead of Aaron Lask and former junior TKM British champion Alfie Garford. Now we do, and Chris Witten go from the seventh row. Michael Cornell and Jessica Fitzhall round out the eighth row. Row nine sees Andrew Platt and Charlie King. They go from that row, and finally Adam Sparrow rounds out the rest of the field. 19 drivers in this one on that tenth row. Two big names at the back of the field. Drama ensued in and the pre-finals. Not, yeah, not to mention reigning and defending oh, British yes. champion <coughs> Chris Whitten starting on row number seven. Yes, indeed. Yeah, lots happening in this one. So... It's going to be a shake-up in this field. I suspect we could see drivers maybe come through the field, maybe some oh, drivers yes. going down. Who knows what's going to happen, especially this man here. Alfie Garford, again, a very quick driver who struggled yep. in that pre-final, well, went Garford down. Garford and uh, Aaron Lass yes. had a, a discussion over the same piece of tarmac mm. uh, in the pre-final. And, and lo and behold, they find themselves starting alongside each other on the sixth row. Such is the way that karting is. Yes. Here we go, though, ladies and gentlemen. It's TKM Extreme, and it's a false start. Again, just as you egg them up to get going, I they decide, no, no, we're going to send you around again. Man was into a bare rhythm, bro. You, you were in the zone, mate. You were in the zone. And, uh, right, well, we will try again. In this field, we have three current or former champions, and, uh, five uh, British Championship race final winners. There is the Vera Tools sponsored number 88 of Alfie Garford, part of the Motorbase British Touring Car Team's Young Driver Programme, which is sponsored by Vera Tool, thus the graphics kit. And there's Dan Ashton again, just telling the, the drivers. Now, of course, you, if you were listening to Gus Lawrence's interview, you will now know exactly what's expected of the drivers and what the ruling is coming out of the final corner onto the thing. It was very eloquently explained by Gus Lawrence, mm. I've, got, I've got to say. Um, Harvey Roth will try and outwit Lee Whittingham. Lee Whittingham in cart number 10. Third in this class in 2019. Eighth in 2020, 10th last year. Two second place finishes, one third place, and never won around the British Championship yet. Yet. 
Let's find out then. Into the tram line, second time of asking. Is it green? It is green and in towards turn one they go. Good start from the outside road, good start from Roth. Sweeps oh across the front word. and a spin and several cuts off into the barriers. Three drivers off the track oh, and that, wow, that's the fastest part of the circuit. Was that Sam Johns or Oliver Bowen who got caught and cooked on that kerb spinning across the track. There was a Tim Wilson motorsport cart that went hard hard i think there's an rsr harvey roth let's have a little look harvey roth leads okay. lee whittingham is I second say, ty springfield is third who have we got it's down in the barriers sam johns oliver bowen and spencer lane the drivers who started this one okay third fourth and fifth right so uh we've got sam johns who bore the brunt of that impact i know sam's dad is here watching uh sam's mum is probably watching at home sam is sat in the car he's taking his helmet off he's evidently been winded but is otherwise A-OK, -okay, just sitting in the car, you know, he's, he's from Cardiff, he's a strong lad, he'll be just fine. Uh, the, the two brain cells he's got, just being juggled around a little bit and now he'll be OK. The other drivers, one driver is standing up and is running away, back to the Marshall Post, he is absolutely fine. And there is a third driver, again, sitting there, the, the marshalling team and the medical team are with all three drivers. So family members watching back home, we're not showing it on our screens, but obviously all the three drivers in, in, in that had that heavy contact. I think it was, uh, it looked like it was Bowen who got hooked at the start and just he just on over the curb, the cart mm. spat round. Mm. I think Sam Johns was on his outside and Sam Johns and went almost like head on into those Recasel barriers there underneath the bridge. Um, the marshal team quite rightly taking their time. There's two drivers still sat in their carts, Sam Johns and I believe Spencer Lane. Uh, who are, but again, they're, 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 no, it's uh, not Spencer Lane, sorry, it's Oliver Bowen. But Oliver Bowen and Sam Johns sat in their carts. And red flags have come out. Okay, the red flags are, I, I'll stress once again, both drivers are communicating, they're chatting with their, uh, the medical team, the marshals, but uh, evidently, both have had their bell rung, mm. shall we say. Yeah, never a nice moment to see an incident like this at the start of a race. Obviously, the medical teams and marshals, the finest in the land on the scene at turn number one. It was the start of the TKM Extreme race final race 25 of the weekend has been red flagged. If you have just joined us to an incident at turn number one, drivers will be coming to a stop on the start finish line i suspect we'll be taking a brief moment here yeah. just to collect information so do stay with us and we will be back with the racing in just a moment's time motorsport uk tv the home of unmissable British motorsport videos. Bringing you all the action from the British Championships. Taking you behind the scenes giving you top tips to succeed in every discipline. Showcasing the best equipment. And much, much more. Visit motorsportuk.tv today and make sure you never miss a moment.
Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you are watching the TKM Extreme Grid here at PF International on the start line after uh, a red flag. Well, we're still under red flag conditions after a, a very uh, nasty first corner incident between uh, three of the drivers of the grid, uh, Oliver Bowen, Spencer Lane, and Sam Johns. I can tell you that uh, Oliver Bowen and Spencer Lane have walked away and they're back in the paddock uh, they've got their carts to be there. Sam Johns is up and out of his cart. Uh, obviously, he went in straight on headfirst into the uh, tyre barriers going under the bridge. So he's uh, obviously jarred his back a little bit. And uh, certainly, he was uh, maybe he's, uh, certainly been winded. He was chatting away to the uh, medical team here. His dad is out there with him now. And I think that he's, just been, he's walked into the ambulance purely as a precaution. And it was Oliver Bowen that started. Oliver ran onto the curve. That flicked the cart round backwards. Sam Johns was the next cart in line. Sam taking evasive action. And then that put him nose first into the barriers at full racing speed with uh, Aaron Ask right behind piling into the uh, carnage as it unfolded. Uh, massive, massive credit to the uh, marshalling team here, the medical team here, and the teams that prepare the equipment. Sam Johns will be absolutely fine, but yeah, he has been, uh, he's walked in, walked into the ambulance purely as a precaution. They will check him over, and I'm watching, you'll see some of the carts coming onto the screen, coming back into view the uh, uh, damaged vehicles. The first cart you can see is the number two cart of Sam Johns. If you have a little look there at the uh, right-hand side of the cart where that uh, side pod is uh, very badly damaged the on that Talco chassis. The remaining runners, the remaining 18 drivers, will have a full restart. See them lining up in their original grid positions. It'll be Lee Whittingham and Harvey Roth on the front row of the grid. There'll be no, well, the drivers starting third, fourth, and fifth, Sam Johns, Oliver Bowen, and Spencer Lane will obviously not take the restart. So it'll be Luke Jarman moving up to the outside of row two. Kai Springfield will move up to the inside of row two. The remaining starting order will be Liv Jenkins, Kean Bennett, Ashton Cox, Aaron Lask, Alfie Garford, Alvin Chui, Chris Witten, Michael Cornell, Jessica Fitch Hall. Andrew Platt, Charlie King, and Adam Sparrow. There is Harvey Roth, the 19-year-old West Sussex-based driver uh, for the Tim Wilson Motorsport team. And uh, Kai Springfield in the next to the number 97 with a black crash helmet on. In the foreground, you can see uh, the red crash helmet. That is the Oh, is that? No, that's not one of the carts that was involved in that incident, is it? Looks like an RSR cart. That would be Spencer Lane. That would be Luke Jarman, I believe. Now, there's Lee Whittingham there, centre, uh, just the right of the screen. There's, there's the driver's getting their instructions. Liv Jenkins sitting in the cart now. Uh, Anthony watching this unfold. Firstly, it's good to know that, uh, yes, everyone is okay, and Sam Johns will be just fine. I know that uh, his dad is here with is with him now. And uh, so for Sam's family watching back home, he is absolutely OK. Mm. Yes, yeah, so uh, obviously Marshall's a medical crew. Fabulous job that they've done to get everything sorted. And going, so. TKM Extreme about to get back underway. Engines fire up. Oh! Even the pooches can't contain themselves. I can tell that's uh, Chris. That's Chris's. That's that's Chris perhaps about Britain because he loves a lab. Ah. Ah. No, uh, cart's, cart's not, not firing. Getting started. It's one of the Tim Wilson. It's the number twenty-five. It and is Alvin Chu. going. <coughs> get to get going, and then the rest of them get fired up as well. So here we go. Well, that's uh. The remaining runners all out there. So we're seeing Chase Fernandez, uh, former British Car Championship contender. Say good luck to Alfie Garford. Uh, uh, that was a while ago. Luke, I know, but I was just saying. Uh, Luke, Luke, Luke uh, Jarman getting some support as well on line. Uh, Grand Prix Alessio.
just caught up with the Junior TKMs. What? Full stop. A. Full stop. Race. Full stop. Maybe I should have said Effort, full stop. Emphasis on the full yeah, stop. Yeah. I, I, sorry, sorry, I'll start again. Grand Prix Alessio writes in saying, just caught up with the Junior TKMs. What a race! Only takes two carts for a quality race. Is that, was that good enough? That was good. Oh, there we go. That's better. Right, back to this race. Wow. That was the, the, or, the, the horse to herbs. And now the seniors are getting set to serve up the entree. Uh, now, there were red flags for a brief moment there. Uh, they have cleared. Um, I think maybe just a, 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 a glitch, an error of yes, some description. Yes. Uh, yeah, they've got it sorted out. And uh, yeah, the race is due to start. So here we go again. So you've got to think that... Uh, that momentum now, but watch each and every one of these drivers go into this first corner with full commitment nonetheless. Lights go out in towards turn one, they go, and once again we go racing, and again, another good start from Roth. Holds on to that race lead as they make their way through the bridge and up the banking they go. And again, no real pressure for Roth. Maintains that one. Still side by side in the background, but all fine and clear as they negotiate their way over the bridge and down the hill. Indeed. So, with a, I mean, Harvey Roth made a great getaway in the first attempt, and uh, he was probably thinking, "Oh, look at that! I had a dream start, and I got to do it all again." And he did. He put that together and made a great getaway. Lee Whitaker give a slot in the second. Kai Springfield capitalising on the fact that uh, the three drivers missing from him are starting in front of him on the grid. He moves that number ninety-seven, that blue and white jade graphic, uh, jade bodywork. It's uh, it is a Birrell chassis, but it's got the jade graphics kit on it. Uh, into P3, then it is, I'm trying to think, it, it, fourth position, that is the, uh, that's Kian Bennett for the Rob Saw Racing Team in fourth position in cart number 44. So, some new names up near the front, and we've got a lot of very, very fast contenders starting at the rear. Yes, indeed. Big movers already. Adam Sparrow up into P6, gaining 13 positions at the end of lap one. Absolutely brilliant stuff him. You can see him at the back of this leading train. Great to see. Drivers now back over the bridge they go, down the hill in towards hairpin number one. It's Roth that leads from Whittingham, Springfield, Bennett, Lask. Well, Lask now moving up into P4 now yep. as the train starts to form and getting punched out of the train is Kean Bennett who goes to the back of it. Yeah, because Adam Sparrow followed Aaron Lask right up the inside there and picked up fifth position without making any effort. You can see Ashton Cox in that bright red Gillard chassis sort of saying, turning around and saying to the driver behind, come on, no, follow, follow, let's work together. The whole field in one long, multicolored, two-stroke snake. Heading down the back straight into Bobby Game Corner and around the Mike Wilson complex. Harvey Roth, he has just... He, well, he, he can, you can hear the carts behind you. You can feel them in your peripheral vision. And he's just got to keep his head straight. He knows they're pushing him along. Look at this. Nose to tail over 60 miles an hour in TKM Extreme. Extreme by name extreme by nature in terms of its excitement it's Roth onto the bridge for the fourth third time rather inches in front of Whittingham and Springfield they're trying to break away from Lask and Bennett and here comes Alfie Garford at the inside of Adam Sparrow and Garford picks up a place and now Lee Whittingham the pole man back to the inside makes the move put cart 10 into P1 Aaron Lass gets through as well, jumps up into second place. So again, drivers getting through. Lass starting this one, P11, doing a brilliant start to his race as well. Like you say, Sparrow still doing a good job. The same with Garford as well. He's latched on into this sort of top section now in P6. And with the fastest lap of the race, he is looking to capitalize on this one. And once again, they go back across the line. Gap starting to form. Breakaway for the top three as they go across the line. Then it's back to fourth place. And then it's another group of four oh, of them changing boom. again as Lask dives to the inside, takes the lead of this race. But is he going to maintain it by the time they come across the bridge? Yes, he is. <laughs> and down the hill. So Aaron Lask, again, in that number three plate cut for Precision Racing. Last time Precision won... Uh, around the British Championship in TKM Extreme was Lewis Wadley all the way back in 2019. Rob Saw Racing, uh, who are in four, fourth and fifth place with Bennett and Jarman, their best ever result in the British Championship was a second place last year, I think, at uh, Rissington, possibly. Well, 11 minutes that plus one lap to go. Yeah, go on. It was with Aaron Lask. Was so it? Aaron Lask has moved from Rob Saw Racing over to Precision this year. 
Here is Garford in that number 88 cart. And uh, how would you get into this competition? Well, first of all, uh, Nabil Mabrook, I would uh, go to the Motorsport UK website and look at the, where your nearest cart club is, where your nearest cart circuit is, uh, and then go along to it. Uh, go find out when your nearest cart circuit hosts their monthly club meetings. Go along, say hello. Uh, speak to the club that hosts it and just ask questions. This is where I, I'm interested in getting into karting. What classes are popular here at the local circuit? Because it's important that you have someone to race against at your local track. And then uh, get some guidance from someone at that club into buying yourself a second-hand go-kart and learning all about how to go racing. There we go. Yes, indeed. All the information is, is uh, online. You can check it out. And uh, yes, indeed, it'll be great to have anyone along. If you are watching and interested in motorsport, come along to a race meeting, like you say, Henry, and chat. Everyone is uh, friendly to talk. Motorsport UK always have representatives at Motorsport UK registered events as well. So it's always good to come down and have a good old chat. Here we go then. Charlie King now with the fastest lap of the race, who is in P11, uh, who has gained seven positions and is doing a... Uh, good job. Uh, but of course, the yoke on that cart I, is still not fully fixed, I don't believe. I think that that is a temporary fix as best they possibly can. So Charlie, who's... Oh, three oh! wide! Who's that? That is Adam Sparrow. That's Adam Sparrow. Wow. That could have been major. He was right on the edge of adhesion. And Charlie King now being shown the outside as well. Oh, the elbows are being sharpened. And Ashton Cox now picks up another couple of places by virtue of simply just being in the right place at the right time all the meanwhile aaron last leads the way and is unaware of what's going on behind him he's still got the very close company of lee whittingham the number 10 from last year and again harvey roth just there as well so the battle for the lead is very 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 close Chris but Whitton. i suspect they won't be battling here's one drive we've hardly mentioned or race on. reigning champion chris number Whitton. one yeah. Chris Whitton. yeah we've not how's he doing now with the sixth position nice just in front of key and bennett there he is eight places gained so far as well yep uh, uh, Liv jakins is right behind them and here is now the three-way dice the race lead lask whittingham and roth in that order down towards hairpin number two here is Whitton being followed by bennett and then the plain white cart of michael cornell in eighth position Liv jenkins is ninth ashton cox tenth and kai springfield who was running third now down in 11th adam sparrow after his near miss down to 12th charlie king 13th alvin Choi is 14th with jessica fitch hall and andrew platt the last two carts still running Yes, indeed. Seven and a half minutes plus one lap remaining of this race. Still, last leads the way. And again, Charlie King holding on to that fastest lap of the race. So, up the banking they go. And again, racing still going fierce. We're watching the battle a little further down the order. Sixth place onwards from Witten, Bennett, Cornell, Liv Jenkins on your screens. So, keep an eye on it as the race goes on. Now, Lask uh, is doing a good job with that top three. I am curious about what is happening for fourth and fifth. Garford's there with Luke Jarman. Are they closing it? The gap, one point... Oh, they are. They that are. went for that, that jump from 1.3 to 1.2. They took a full tenth out of in, the leading trio. And that was just in one sector. Yes. Anthony. So, yeah, and look at that. They're, they're not battling... Uh, Luke Jarman is quite content to sit a cart length off Alfie Garford's rear bumper. They're closing in. They've got the momentum. I don't think that Lee Whittingham has got the fastest. Oh, sorry. I don't think that uh, Aaron Lask has got the fastest. The fastest bullet in this, <laughs> in in the holster, mm. he, because even though Whittingham and Roth are trying to work with him. Three carts running first, second, and third working together should, should be able to pull away from two carts working together in fourth and fifth. And that is not the case. No, not at all. So, again, it's, well, it's maintained at 1.2, the gap between the two of them. 
Keep an eye on it. Now, actually, it's gone down to eight tenths of a second. So they're much, much quicker through sector two out on circuit. So they maintain the pace through sector one. Sector two is where they gain the time. And that makes sense because there's long slipstream opportunities yes. there where you can work together, push each other out the corner. And I've got to say, it looks like Garford's dropping uh, Luke Jarman by a bit there. Alfie Garford is driving up to the top three now all on his own. Again, not a lot of overtaking amongst the leaders, but again, this is just a build-up. This is just experienced drivers working together to get themselves collectively in a position to win this race. Mm. Lask, Whittingham and Roth. They are separated by inches at the front. And Garford, while the gap was 1.3 seconds, it's now less than three quarters of a second. And Jarman, you thought he was being dropped, he's just doing enough to cling on to the slipstream. Yes, indeed. You can see him still there in P5. So this is going to be very interesting into the final five minutes then of this race. Round the Mike Wilson complex they go and on to the start finish straight. So still last that leads from Whitcomb, Roth, Garford and Jarman, the top five. Whitcomb still there in sixth place. Oh, 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 now He's we're now together. closing in. And Roth pulls a pin, Roth to the inside, oh, and Roth almost into last. Roth got so deep into the banking, here comes Garford into P2. Alfie Garford takes advantage of the fact that Harvey Roth went in so deep, he passed Whittingham and almost took Lask out. He had to then back out, which caused them all to hesitate slightly. Garford with the momentum was able to just sweep through into P2. Yes, indeed. A brilliant move there. Well timed and calculated to just send it down the inside, taking full opportunity of what was happening in front. And now Garford, I would say, is actually in control of this race. The fastest driver out there has scythed his way through the field, is in P2 now. But who's he got right in front of him? Mr. Henry Burdett. Well, he's got race leader right in front of him, Aaron Lask. And what happened? Well, in the pre-final, Mr. Jordan, Aaron Askinance and Alfie Garford had a territorial dispute going down the, uh, the, the hill towards the first hairpin. No, it was going into Bobby Game Corner. There's been no territorial dispute because Alfie Garford has claimed the territory. No, he hasn't. There's been a rebellion and uh, Team Lask have fought back to reclaim top spot. This is going to go right down to, we've got three minutes to go and uh, any one of five could easily win this now, have Garford and Lask kicked and made up? So, three minutes to go and back down the inside. Here goes Garford, gets it done through hairpin number two, but he's left the gap open on the exit. And now Lask is going to come back through. Remember, it was it going into the next it corner that these two came together. And is it going to happen again this time around? No, it's not. They're going to stay behind. But keep an eye just behind because now Luke Jarman is coming into play. He gets past uh, Halvey Roth. Now they cross over, Roth gets him back and they're just back into the Witten is there in then sixth position, Cornell there in seventh, Bennett there in eighth, King ninth and Sparrow tenth. They cross the line with two and a half minutes to go and the top ten separated by 2.3 seconds. On to the banking. Oh my goodness me, look at this. This looks more like the first lap, not uh, <laughs> the last two minutes of a race. This is incredible. Out of the bridge they go, back down the hill again. <laughs> and you can see there, Garford's just saying, what are you doing? Point what are you doing? Go, go, go. And Lask <laughs> going, no, no, I'm going to defend. It's my right to defend. Garford outbreaks oh. himself. And it's Whittingham back into P2. Oh, it's so close between all of these drivers here. They're getting backed up here. Now Lask is doing everything he can to try and hold on to the lead of this race. You can see there, Lee Whittingham just saying to Garford, OK, let's go. I'm not going to defend. Let's try push him. Yep. Let's try get him out of the way here because despite Aaron Ash's best efforts that train is forming he's going he's doing everything he needs to do he's defending his position Barrow again sorry yeah, I, no 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 you're fine getting squeezed at the exit there at Bobby Game Corner and again Lask is just under so much pressure here he's doing everything he needs to do but at the moment it's just there's so much time left in this race and now it's Lee Whittingham's time to say what are you doing keep going now it's a top 12 driver separated by 2.3 oh, seconds dear me. Lask is defending Whittingham has got to try and manufacture away past Lask's ultra sturdy defence. Roth is there in third place. Then it is defending and reigning champion Witten in fourth. This is Whittingham's chance potentially. No. Lask late on the brakes. 
coming out of this. Mike Cornell coming out of the hairpin, running a little bit wide there. But they're three wide. This is anyone at 12 can now win it, Anthony, with 50 seconds to go. Let's just make sure, bring them all home, boys and girls. Oh, Liv Jakin slowing. Yeah. And off, uh, that's a, a, well, I didn't see what happened there. She is dropping back there, possibly a mechanical problem for Liv. Oh, my word. 30 seconds to go, Anthony. It is Lask, Whittingham, Roth in that order, followed by Witten, King, Garford, and Jarman. The top seven have got a mini break now. Ahead of Cornell, they fan out onto the banking. It's Charlie King trying to go round the outside in cart number six for the Class and Motorsport team. Will they all make it back up the bridge safely? Yes, they do. Down the hill, Lask looks to the inside. Whittingham has oh. to look at the inside behind them. There's one drive on the grass. That was Jarman. It was, yeah. Jarman on the grass. He gets back onto the track, though, but drops down. It's all kicking off still at the front, because, again, any one of these could take it. Back down the inside goes. Harvey Roth gets back into second place. Keep an eye, though, further behind. Everyone just trying to go for that move. Charlie King into P2. Yep. Harvey Roth opened the door past Whittingham. Wow. And King capitalise it past the both. Lask now has a half second lead. They're going to see the last lap board next time around. Through the Mike Wilson complex, we begin lap number 16. It is Lask, King, Roth, Whittingham, the top four. Witten is fifth with Garford in sixth. On the back, Charlie King to the inside. From the back of the grid to P1, but uh, Lask fights back, wheel to wheel, side by side onto the bridge. Oh, Lask squeezes him wide and retakes the lead. Here comes Harvey Roth. And look at this, to the inside is Witten. Right down the outside now goes Lee Whittingham. Whittingham, side by side for third. He's going to get squeezed wide. No, the number 10 driver just about hangs on. It's Lask backing them up into the second hairpin. Roth, three wide, Roth in the middle. King round the outside. Lee Whittingham has dropped back a little bit. Here comes Aaron Lass, Charlie King. Oh, Lee Whittingham gets squeezed wide again into Bobby Game Corner. Lask is still there. Charlie King holding off. Oh, this driver's spinning further back. But up at the front, Aaron Lask for the first time and breaking a winless streak for Precision Racing that goes back to 2019. Aaron Lask takes the win. Charlie King is second. What a drive from Charlie King. Harvey Roth on the podium in third position. Three tenths of a second separates the top three finishes. Unreal. Chris Witten comes home in fourth. Alfie Garford is fifth. Kean Bennett is sixth. Michael Cornell seventh. Lee Whittingham in eighth position. Ninth is Kai Springfield. Luke Jarman tenth. And Ashton Cox, Alvin Chui, uh, Adam Sparrow, Jessica Fitch Hall and Andrew Platt. Liv Jenkins sadly failed to finish. I can tell you that at the end of 16 laps, 3.3 seconds separated the top 11 finishers. What a race. Here is a look at uh, Aaron Lask. Well, it was uh, not the best way to end the pre-final for Aaron. Here's Harvey Roth. He takes another podium finish. That would be his, well, his fourth British Championship podium. And there's some uh, congratulations. They're great sportsmanship there. Charlie King is up and out of his cart to congratulate Aaron Lask. Charlie King, well, with a, a, a sort of a hastily repaired cart, the Class of Motorsport team taking a win in juniors and a second in the seniors. Tim Wilson Motorsport on the podium with Harvey Roth. There's Charlie King. That is Charlie's best ever British Championship result. He's had a trio of third place finishes and now he gets a second place to go with it. The next race is due to start the last race. They will due to start at 10 past four. So there will be time for Anthony to get a word with uh, I'm sure will be a rather exhausted winner. So he's on his way down to the pit lane now. And uh, the drivers, the spectators and the family members, the guests out watching a great afternoon's racing on. The, thankfully, the rain has stayed away and it's been a very pleasantly warm spring afternoon here in Lincolnshire. Uh, 
There are one or two drivers that are a little bit hot under the collar, has to be said. But uh, Anthony will be speaking to two of the happiest people in the paddock. Well, some of the happiest people in the paddock. Aaron Lask, Charlie King and Harvey Roth. Well, just because you haven't entered the British Championship yet, you still can enter the Championship and join the fun. Who would want to be part of the TKM classes here in the Motorsport UK Vera Tours British Kart Championship when they provide action like that? And uh, there's one race to go. It's Junior X30. But uh, before we uh, get to that event, we will speak to our Winning driver, the newest winner of the British Championship paddock, Aaron Lask. Thank you very much, Henry. Yes, down in Park Ferme with our race winner. And I've got to say, well, Aaron Lash, you made that cart look, well, about five times wider than it actually is in that final. Yeah, it was a bit of a struggle. Um, it's hard to lead from the front here. They were catching, they were pushing. I didn't really have enough top speed, but as soon as I see a couple of minutes ago, I just thought I'd hop on the wild line, try and make it as wide as possible, and it worked. So. It's a solid race all the way throughout the field. It was a little bit scary at the start of the first start of that race, obviously with the uh, the red flag, but uh, to come through, you know, nerves uh, not becoming the better of you. Yeah, no, I was uh, a little bit worried at the end. You know, I was just trying to hold on, but me and Charlie got a bit close at the end. We went around the corner and uh, he was just he was going to give up first, and I didn't, so happy days. It was about 12 of you between two seconds yeah. uh, <laughs> nearing the end of that race, so a lot of pressure on your shoulders, but you come away with a race win. Congratulations. Uh, who would you like to thank uh, i'd just like to thank precision racing We've got the car absolutely mint it was just rapid all weekend like from my dad uh, he didn't give up on me this whole time he knew we were going to do it we've had a pretty bad weekend so to get there it's pretty good so yeah but, and a big thank to my sponsor as well david smith well brilliant stuff we'll see you on the podium a little bit later on congratulations cheers excellent let's chat to our second place driver charlie king charlie again for class and motorsport another podium for the team and uh, what a result for you i think is that your best result as well in the british uh, i think so yeah. yeah, so I got two thirds last season, so yeah. yeah. Third, third, third. So your first second. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. A uh, tough old race out there, and uh, talk us through that one, because, well, uh, like you were saying, 12 drivers all battling away. That looked uh, way harder than it looked. Yeah, I mean, we come from the last row on the grid, and it, it wasn't that easy. We dropped back to dead last at one point, I think, because we got in some collisions, and then uh, soon started battling. I thought, get my head down, keep going, keep going, and then saw the opportunity on the outside, on, going on top of the bridge. I think I did like two or three there and then started picking them off one by one. Had a little nip at the lead. Didn't quite pay off, but um, there's many more rounds to go. So, Well, TKM is probably one of the oldest classes that's still running in modern day karting. Would you say this was a great incentive for drivers to get involved in it? Oh, 100%. I mean, who doesn't want to race like that? Hard, hard and fair racing. And uh, that's all you want, really. Stuff. Well, we'll let you celebrate with the team and we'll see you on the podiums a little bit later on. Thank you. Excellent stuff there, Charlie King, finishing that race in P2. Let's bring in Harvey Roth, uh, who uh, joins us. Well, a third place finish, probably the uh, the smiliest man on the grid. But uh, is that the result you were looking for, P3? No, it wasn't the result I was looking for, but I think I was ought to try out a different position on the podium for once. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But no, it was a really good race. Aaron did a great job defending, couldn't get past him. So I'm happy with the results there. I think we'll come out of the championship this weekend leading, yeah. so I can be happier, really. Nailed the starts on both attempts on that one as well, uh, sweeping to the uh, the inside line. But uh, yeah, again, uh, a tough old race out there. The first round of the championship is always a tough one, but you come away with a good spot. Are you feeling confident though for the rest of the season? Yeah, I'm feeling really confident. I'm quite comfortable with the tracks we've got, and I think I can perform really well and hopefully carry on leading the championship to the end. Well, you round out the first podium of the year with a P3, so uh, congratulations. Anyone you'd like to thank? I'd like to thank my dad, firstly, for being awesome on the spanners. Tim Wilson for all the help getting me to this point. Ollie Varney for the great driver coaching all weekend, really helped me out. And uh, my main sponsor, M2 Computing, for making this possible. Well, brilliant. Congratulations. We'll see you on the podium a little bit later on. See you later. Thank you. Excellent stuff there from our top three. And now finally on to our final podium then of the weekend. TKM Extreme and who could forget this one? It was a roller coaster all the way to the end. It was race 25, but we start with <coughs> excuse me, with our third place driver, last year's champion, 
after gaining 11 positions. Your top privateer, the number one, it's Chris Whitten. Look at the hairstyle, pristine. Man doesn't know a thing about helmet hair. Get on there, lad, third place, well done, well done. Get the hat on. We move on now to second place, separated by two thousandths of a second. Very, very close at the end of this one. Started on second place and the number four seed for the Tim Wilson Motorsport. Please welcome Harvey Roth. I'm sure everyone enjoyed the storytelling Henry did on the commentary in his best storytelling voice as well. It was fabulous. I fell asleep. Yeah, but uh, yeah, <laughs> well, so did he apparently. Brilliant. Get the hat on, smiles away. And finally, like we said, the first time Class and Motorsport have had two drivers on the top spot in one weekend. Please welcome, after 16 laps, after gaining 17 places from the back of the grid to the front, the number six, it's Charlie King! <laughs> And his winning mechanic, Carlos Fandango King, up onto the podium, please. Brilliant. Stop whinging. Smile for the cameras. There we go. You'll get your medal. Thank you, Carlos Fandango. Let's get the top three of you on that top spot, guys. And the final photos being taken at the final podium again a brilliant weekend final round of applause please for your TKM extreme finalists Well, thank you very much, everyone. Again, another brilliant weekend and a great way to start the 2023 season. Have a very safe drive home. We'll see you at the next round at GYG.